Good morning, Shindo here. I want to point out this article that I found this morning. I find it very interesting. This is the problem with any kind of spiritual understanding that is all centered around an individual. That once you break down the stories surrounding that individual, you break down their spirituality. Christianity is a cult of personality. Why, while these stories from the Christian Bible may be myth, however, it does not mean that we cannot gain some spiritual understanding from those myths. Gnosticism uses mythology, and they welcome mythology, and they openly admit that the stories that are in the Gnostic Kabbalistic slash now called Christian mythology are not in fact literal truth. So those who do identify with the Christ figure shouldn't feel as though I am somehow speaking against that Christ consciousness spirituality. But when you're a Christian and your entire basis of faith is based on what another man did when you find out that it's unlikely that that man perhaps even existed it puts a major major chink in the armor that keeps you immune to reality as Christians are consistently becoming more and more immune to reality they have really lost touch. But let's look at the article. I'm not going to speak to the validity of this um, article because frankly I just don't know. However, you do find that these articles are coming up more and more which are placing in serious doubt the validity of a historical, historic Jesus. Okay, well the name of the article is Ancient Confession Found Quote, We Invented Jesus Christ, unquote. Biblical scholars will be appearing in the, quote, covert Messiah, unquote, confederacy at Conway Hall in London on the 19th of October to present this uh, controversial discovery to the British public. London, 8th of October, oh, this is an old article, 2013. American biblical scholar Joseph Atwill will be appearing before the British public for the first time in London on the 9th of October to present a controversial new discovery, ancient confessions recently uncovered now prove, according to Atwill, that the New Testament was written by first century Roman aristocrats and that they fabricated the entire story of Jesus Christ, which does make sense and that would make sense as to why they adopted it and instituted into the government. Christianity is there to support the aristocracy. It has always been used that way until the American Revolution of people who were not Christians changed that. His presentation will be part of one day's uh, symposium entitled Covert Messiah at Conway Hall in, in Holborn. Full details can be found at their website. Although to many scholars his theory seems outlandish and is sure to upset some believers, Atwill regards his evidence as conclusive and is confident its acceptance is only a matter of time. You know, all these people come out with, like, like him and um, Lawrence Gardner, who come out with this history, and it's referred to as alternate history. Anyway, because it's not accepted, because the, the, the governments which support the church and the church which supports the government is not going to accept them. Anyway, back to the article. Quote, I present my work with some ambivalence. As I do not want to directly cause Christians any harm, he acknowledges. But this is important for our culture. Alert citizens need to know truth about our past so we can understand how and why our governments create 
false histories and false gods. They often do it to obtain a social order that is against the best interest of the common people, unquote. Atwill asserts that Christianity did not really begin as a religion, but a sophisticated government project, a kind of propaganda exercise used to pacify the subjects of the Roman Empire. Interesting. Quote, Jewish sects in Palestine at one time who were waiting for prophesied warrior Messiah were a constant source of violent insurrection during the first century, he explains. When the Romans had, existed, had, had exhausted conventional means of quashing rebellion, they switched to psychological warfare. They surmised that the way to stop and spread a jealous Jewish missionary activity was to create a, com, a competing belief system that when the peaceful Messiah story was invented, instead of inspiring warfare, the Messiah urged turn the other cheek pacifism and encouraged Jews to give unto Caesar and pay their taxes to Rome. Was Jesus based on a real person from history? The short answer is no, Atwill insisted. Quote, in fact, he may be the only fictional character in literature whose entire life story can be traced to other sources. Once these sources are all laid bare, there's simply nothing left, unquote. Adwell's most intriguing discovery came to him when he was studying, quote, War of the Jews, unquote, by Joseph, Joseph, Josephus, the only surviving first-person historical count of the first century Judea, alongside with the New Testament. Quote, I started to notice a sequence of parallels between the two texts, he recounts. Quote, although it's been recognized by Christian so, uh, scholars for centuries that the prophecies of Jesus appear to be fulfilled by what Josephus wrote about in the first Jewish-Roman war, I was seeing dozens more. What seems to have eluded many scholars is that the sequence of events and locations of Jesus' ministry are more or less the same as the sequence of events and locations of military campaign of Emperor Titus uh, Flavius, as described by Josephus. This is clear evidence of a deliberately constructed pattern. The biography of Jesus is actually constructed tip to stern on prior stories, but especially on the biography of Roman Caesar. Unquote. How could this go unnoticed in the most scrutinized book of all time? Quote, Many of the parallels are conceptual or poetic, so they aren't at all immediately obvious. After all, the authors did not want the average believer to see what they were doing, but they did not want they did want the alert reader to see it. An educated Roman in the ru ruling class would probably have recognized the literary game being played. Unquote. Atwill maintains he can demonstrate that quote, the Roman Caesar left us a kind of puzzle literature that was meant to be solved by future generations, and the solution to the puzzle is we invented Jesus Christ, and we're proud of it, unquote. Is this the beginning of the end of Christianity? Quote, probably not, grants Atwilts. Quote, but what my work does, what has done, is to give perm permission to many of those ready to leave the religion to make a clean break. We got the evidence now to show exactly where the story of Jesus came from. Although Christianity can be a comfort to some, it can also be a damaging and repressive and insidious form of mind control that has led to blind acceptance of serfdom, poverty, and war throughout history. To this day, especially in the United States, it is used to create support for war in the Middle East, unquote. I'm sure many of uh, Lucy and my listeners will agree with that statement, as do I. At will uh, encourages skeptics to challenge him at the Conway Hall where after the presentation, there is likely to be a lively Q&A session. Joining Mr. Atwell will follow scholar Kenneth Humphreys, author of the book, Jesus Never Existed. Okay, further information can be found at their website. So, this man Atwell is a very interesting figure. You, you've got uh, a lot of people coming out and questioning the authenticity of the Bible nowadays. Of course, I did do my videos called Gospel Fictions. If you want to check that out uh, after the book titled Gospel Fictions. So that's a review of that book. And uh, I don't know much about this man Atwell, but I will leave a link to this article 
And if you find this interesting, and I feel that many of you do, I would suggest that you do a little bit of research on the man and about what he's doing now. I know I'm about to, so this is Shindo. You all have a good Thursday.